from a place we're not allowed to reveal. What the f*** do you want? It's the Tom Likas Show. God damn it. Why didn't you say so? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Tony, hello. Tony? Yes, how are you, Tom? You busy over there, Tony? Yes. Uh, as long as you got a job right now, unlike the rest of America. I'm the Rock of Gibraltar, Tony. I have a question real quick, Tom. I, I'm seeing this, uh, my neighbor, and uh, pretty much I just have her on a booty call. We do, that's all we do. But, yeah, she still complains about how I don't take her out and that she wants to just go out and do something. She's never just, the, she doesn't know that she's just, well, why haven't you told her? Dude, like I told, we talked from it from the very beginning that we didn't want anything serious. We were just seeing each other for All the All right, party. and so later when she complained, you were said, remember, we had that conversation, and you are a booty call, right? You said that. Yeah, I told her that. And, and what did she say? Other... Did she remember the previous conversation? No, she denies it. And then she goes on and she tells me how uh, she starts last night. She tried telling me that she loved me. You know, when you see that There girl, we go. It's time to go, Tony. No, I know. So, yeah. that's it. Cut her off. <laughs> it's, I'm trying. It's just... No, no, no. You you control the situation. Well... There's no, what do you mean something. you're trying? You're not trying. That's, that's a lot of crap. That's very... Right? Yes. And I had my friends telling me that, but they told me to call in and I have to hear it from the man himself. Well, now you're hearing it. You cut her off. Cut her off at the knees. <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh, all right. I guess that, that's good enough for me. But now I have my other neighbor that lives about four houses down to the other side, also seeing her. How can I make it so if I cut it off with her? It doesn't come back and bite me. What do you care? I, I just don't want her to ruin it for the other one. You know what? You might have to drive a block or two. <laughs> thing is, the one that I'm seeing that's on my left-hand side of my house lives four houses down. She lives only two houses down on my right. Again, you, you know, this is not a matter of convenience, all right? You do the best you can, and when you wear out your welcome, you move on. All right, we got it. Hey, Tom, can you take me out Mexican style? Yes, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here's Dave on Likus one hundred one. Hello. Hey, Doctor Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Now, here's my problem. I can go up. I'm not a great looking guy, like the professor here, and I can go up. I got balls for days. I can talk to anybody, but I'm not a closer. I never quite know, unless it's really obvious, how to get to that next step where I got her pennies in my mouth. Where do you get them? How far do you get them? Once in a great while, I can pull it off. But I know guys who can do this like every time. Right, but I, I, I'm trying to diagnose this. And first I have to know how far you get them before failing. Oh, um, it's... It's all or nothing. I either get to the friend area right away, or... You know. uh, yeah, well, first of all, you, the friend area is not an option. The minute you see yourself heading off the freeway on the friend exit, yeah, that's it. You're done. Well, I've definitely... Over the last couple of years, I've definitely taken that response, because it's, it's balls, quite frankly. You, you're but, just... that You've been rejected, and you've been rejected in the slowest, most painful way. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So you you just get out. Well, yeah, that one I took me a long time. Wish I had, had you told me that two years ago, but it took me a while to get to that place. Now I want to know, cut and run is fine, but I don't want to cut and run so much. As, yes, you do. Yeah, no, I do want to cut and run if I'm on the front shelf, but I want to know how to close. Yeah, but here's the deal. First of all, if 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 you're not on the friend shelf, if you're not in the friend zone. 
And the way you close it is by taking as little time as possible, by saying as little as possible. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense because I talk a lot. Well, I can tell you talk a lot and you need to shut up because that girls talk a lot. Thanks, Tom. And that's why you end up in the friend zone because when women hear you talking, they're like, this guy could be a friend. Oh, son of a gun, you're right. So you need to shut up. You know, sometimes smart guys can be really dumb. You know, sometimes you can't see yourself objectively. You can't see the forest from the trees, exactly. I let them hang themselves. Blah, 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 F and blah. Mm -hmm. Man. Tom, thanks a lot. It's simple as that. All right, Dave, good luck. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Likus 101. I am your professor, Heather, on the Tom Likus Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, Heather? Excuse me? Never mind. What can I do for you? How do you get a man to get a job? You can't. Take care of the family. You can't. You can't. No. How old were you when you got married? 29. You just got married? A year and a half ago. So you're 31 now? I just turned 30 Sunday. All right. So, but, but wait a minute. But you were married a year and a half. So you got married at 28. Oh, no, 28. And how old was he? He was 24. He was too young to be getting married. <laughs> and why'd you get married? Did he knock you up? Uh, no, that didn't happen until after we were married for a while. And he had a job then, and he never showed any signs of not wanting to work? No, he was in the military. Uh-huh. He got back from Iraq, so and... That's the, well, that's not thing. really a job, per se. It's certainly uh, uh, something that's important to the country, and we all appreciate it, but it's not like getting up and going to a job every day. No, not really. So you've never seen him with a job? No. Well... Just the military. Well, uh, you were not ready to marry him. You didn't know enough about him. We've known each other for like seven years. No, but you knew him in the military. You did not know him in job mode. I guess so. And seven years means you were dating him since you were 21 and he was, uh, what, 17, 18? No, 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 no. We've known each other that long, not dating that long. How did you know him? We met through his older brother. And what were you doing the first seven years? Uh, the first four years, we were just really good friends. Oh, boy. You know, I don't believe men and women are really friends. And sure enough, in your case, that turned out to be true, because what you really wanted was to have sex with him, marry him, have kids with him, whatever. Uh, no, I didn't really want to get married. He was the one that wanted to get married, and I figured, why not? I didn't have anything better to do with my time. And that's not a good reason to get married, darling. Uh, uh, midlife crisis, I guess. So, a midlife crisis. So, you're only going to live to be 56 years old? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't make other people do anything. Okay. What's a good ultimatum to give them? Because I've tried to, if you don't get a job, I'm leaving you. Yeah, but yep. you see, that once you do that, you've lost all credibility. You were not leaving him, and you didn't. I kicked him out. So what? What? By the way, you can't even legally do that. If he chose to call the police, they'd have let him back in. Yeah, but he's not that smart. Why did you marry someone who's not that smart? I have, I have no clue. No. I, you see, so darling, I, a lot of this is your fault. Okay, You married someone you don't respect. You married someone you don't think is intelligent. Right? Well, I thought he was. I, everything changed when he came back from overseas. So he was stupider when he came back. Most definitely. So you married him before he left to go overseas? Long before, yeah. He didn't leave to, well, not long before, obviously, but... Wait a minute. I thought you've only been married a year and a half. We have. We were married for six months before he left. I mean, he just literally recently got back. So how, how long has it been since he got back? About three months, four months. And you've decided that's enough. Now it's time for him to go to work. You decided that. No, I've had a job this entire time. No, no, I'm talking about him. You decided that three months is enough time after being in Iraq. Now it's time for him to go to work. You decided that. Yeah. Well, he's been out of the military for three months. He's been back from Iraq for almost six, I guess. And he has no income. No.
Well, you can't change them, darling. This is what you married. And it seems to me you didn't know him all that well. Or if you did, you don't respect him at all. You don't. Not anymore, I don't know. You never did. Uh, I, I think at one point in time I did. But going over there changed him, and I don't know how to convince him to go back to the way he was. When did you have a kid? Um, She was born in February. February? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So he, he came home from Iraq for a weekend and impregnated you? What, what happened? Uh, I got pregnant right before he left. So he left how long? I'm trying to figure this all out. How long after he impregnated you did he leave? Um, about six weeks. So you were, you were married how long at that point? Um, about six and a half months. Do you think it would have been a good idea to wait until he finished with his term of duty and then to kind of get to know him better? That's what the original plan was, but... Yeah, no, 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 but you had control over that. No, I was on birth control. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Darling, you had morning after pills, you had abortion, you had a million ways to control that. Uh, it's kind of hard to do that when you don't find out until you're eight weeks. And you can't, I don't know, I can't kill a baby. <sighs> Mm, 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 mm. Darling, you can't change him. So the best thing to do is just tell him to pack his bags and get out and file for a divorce. Well, you also can't make him leave. You can leave. Uh, no, I can't make him leave, but I can make his life miserable to where he wants to leave. And why, why, why do you want all this drama? If you married the wrong guy, then just make a plan to get out. Why do I want to leave the house that I paid for? You Wait, you pay for the house? He has never con contributed any money into the house, not even while he was in the military. All right, then you have to get an attorney and deal with that. By the way, he's entitled to half that house. Because you were too stupid to get a prenup. So, uh, by the way, they probably you, the two of you probably don't have any equity in the house anyway. Right now, no, not with the market the way it is. So, you ha so <laughs> leaving the house, you wouldn't be leaving anything behind anyway. Yeah, except for memories. Memories of what? You've been living with a moron. Uh, because that's where I brought my baby home from the hospital. Oh, boy. Dear, I don't think you want to fix this. I do. I want a divorce. I, I, I want him. I don't know what I want. I'm trying to give you the easiest way out. You don't want it. To pack up and go. Pack up and go. Call the realtor. Yeah, by the way, uh, if you guys have lost money, uh, half the loss is his, and he has to make up some of that difference. That would be good, because we just pulled a second mortgage. A second mortgage for what? Um, because he decided he wanted to go to school, and his GI Bill wasn't going to kick in in time for him to start. Ooh. And then he didn't start, so I lost out all that money. Oh, boy. You need an attorney, dear. Sounds like it. Hang on a second. John, what did you want to say to Heather on Like Us 101? Okay, Heather. Here's a little something. Your husband has been back from the military for three months. He just served, I'm going to assume, at least a year in Iraq. He deserves at least a little bit of time, three months, and he's saying that he wants to go to school. That's a step. He just wants to get himself an actual job. He obviously had something going on in his life. That's why he joined the military. It's a way out. Okay, he served he our country. Was, he's a military brat. He was raised in the military, for one. He's been back from Iraq for six months well, and been out for three. three months. You said three months just a few minutes ago. Three months, six months out even. of the military, not back from Iraq. Okay. Is he in school? No. No. Get mortgage on my house because his GI bill wasn't going to kick in in time, and then he decided last minute he didn't want to go to school. All right, so let's get, let's. So he's been back from Iraq for six months. Uh huh. Where'd the three months come in from earlier? That's where, that's how long he's been out of the military. Okay, so he's been out of the military for three months. You obviously made a mistake marrying the guy. Excuse but me? you know what? You know what? Listen to Tom, get the divorce, whatever. 
Tom, we do me a favor, take me out, Mexican style. I don't want to talk to her anymore. I'll take you both out. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Like It's 101 on the Tom Like It Show. The Tom Like It Show. Like us 101, I am your professor, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number, Joseph of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Oh, no, no. Uh, hi, Tom. Uh, uh, it's, it's a statement. Uh, very quick, uh, Tom. I uh, need your help. Uh, this chick, I gave her the ring, but she asked next. What ring it. is that? Uh, well, I thought it was an engagement ring, but I guess she... She said it's a, like, uh, commitment ring. That's what she called it, meaning she's not going to marry you. Yeah, that's, I, that's, um, uh, I guess, I, I don't know. So, um, well, right now she's saying that she's not, not ready for it, and she kind of, you know, she's she doesn't want to rush to it. You're a lucky uh, man. What can I say? We are, we're not all that lucky. <laughs> So, should I take the ring back? If she'll give it. Uh, Why do you want to get married? Uh, not, I mean, not now. Maybe a year. Or two Why years ever? Now. Why? What for? Well, she's, uh, you know, she's a good gal. That doesn't mean you have to get married. Yeah, but uh, it's like I want to have, like, uh, kind of, you know, like, ownership. I don't want to... Uh, there is no ownership. Anybody can leave at any time. And uh, women today are more scandalous than ever. Okay. They go and off and do their own thing when they want to, and uh, many times right behind your back. Uh, you don't want ownership. The cost of ownership is too much. You want to have sex with her? You want to date her? Fine. Why well, do you need to sign a contract and commit yourself? Well, I can, I can uh, commit without contract. Yeah, you can. No, I'm saying, I, yes, I can, but I don't, so I don't need a contract, but I thought the, the ring was kind of contract without... You like, don't need a... What do you need a contract for? By the way, do, do you love your parents? Well, I love my... Do you well, love your parents? Yes. Do they love you? Yes. Do you need a contract for that? No. Why do you need a contract with her? Uh, I guess to assure myself... That, uh, you know, that it's like you will uh, be faithful. But it doesn't guarantee that. Hmm. So, and then she said she has uh, like a lot of friends. I don't know what country you're from, but in the United States, women have complete freedom to do whatever they want, and they do. That's true. Uh, what about uh, she having a guy friend from like uh, my but, Well, now yeah, you're making my point for me. Why would you want to do this? She's got friends on MySpace because she reserves the right to date other men, and that's why she doesn't want to commit to you. Are you getting the hint here, Joseph? Okay, so she just uh, dropped her? She doesn't have any interest in being with just you. Is she even with you? Do you have sex with her? Yes. Yeah. How often? Well, before it was um, like um, every few days, but now it's like every week. Right, because she's busy going through MySpace and meeting other people. Oh, so what should I do? <laughs> Move on and stop worrying about being committed to one person. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you American now? Did you become American? Yes, of course. Okay. How long have you been an American citizen? Uh, ten years. Ten years. It's time to act like an American. Okay. You're here. Mm hmm And uh, I, what country are you from? Persia. Which one? Persia? Yeah. Okay. This isn't Persia. Women have lots more rights here than they have in, in Iran. All right. Okay. A lot more. So, just... You uh, don't have ownership or control of people in this country. 
And, and getting married is only symbolic. If a woman wants to go out and they, they, we don't behead them, we don't take their hands off, we don't uh, carve into them, uh, we don't put them in prison. If a woman wants to have sex with somebody else, she does, and that's how it works here. I understand that. So I just I, because I thought the, the ring was uh, it, ca like it guarantees nothing. It is another collectible that she will use to sell after she's done with you. Yes. Okay, thank By you. By the way, much. is um, she is she American? Yes, she is. Is she Persian American? Uh, uh well, she was raised here. But she, but her her family is from Iran. No, no, her family is Latin. Uh, her family is American, going all the way back. Well, uh, she's like Latin American. Okay. Well, I'm telling you that American women are different from women where you come from. If a woman has a MySpace page, it's because she's reserving the right to date other people. Okay. Oh, I see. And so it's not just friends, huh? <laughs> no. That's just the, the term they use on there. Like on AOL, the buddy list. Do you know how many women I've nailed are on my buddy list? Yes, one, two, my one. pals! My buddies! Yeah. It, that's just a word they use. Friends. You know, Jennifer has 7,241 friends. Yes. What do you think that means? How many of her friends on MySpace are guys? What percentage? Uh, 85%. 85 per. What's that tell you? I, I, I guess I wasn't, like, believing what I was seeing, though. Well, start believing it, pal. It's the United States of America. No, I, I, I got it now. Uh, thank you very much. Could you take me uh, MJ style? What style? MJ. Michael Jackson? Yes. All right, Michael Jackson style. We finally, uh, we have to look it up here. He remembered what they said in the 360, uh, Michael Jackson style. Here you go. My greatest inspiration comes from kids. Why can't you share your bed? There was some action going on in my room every night. Who's the criminal? Who's, who's Jack the Ripper in the room? By now we all know. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Didn't say who it was. I'm saying we all know. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Paige on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, this is my first time calling into a radio show. So. It shows. Yeah, I'm sure. Should we make an appointment? When would you like to start talking? Okay, well, I'm 21 years old, or almost 21 years old. I just had a baby six months ago. Why did you do that? It was an accident, but it was the best no, thing that ever happened to me. No, it was not an accident, dear. You did it on purpose. I did not do it on purpose. I was irresponsible, but I did not do it on purpose. Darling, did, what, what, what kind of birth control were you using? None. That, so you did it on purpose. If that's how you want to put it, then yeah. You wanted to have a baby. If you didn't, you would have prevented it. I was just young and naive. What's that? I was young, naive, and stupid. But darling, was darling you're, you're the same age now as you were then. No, I was 19 when I got pregnant. I'll be Ooh, now you're 20. You're a big, mature woman of 20 now. I wouldn't say that. I do mature more when I have a child. I don't think you're the least bit mature, but go ahead. Oh, well, thanks, but um, his father is about 25 years old. We were together for about a year and a half, broke up when he was just a newborn because he was doing stupid stuff, drugs, drinking, stuff like that, and I told him to go. But wait a minute. He never drank a drop before that, right, and never did drugs before that, too. Stupid to say with him. I will admit that. Ah, there we go. So he was a drinker and a drug user, and you had sex with him without birth control. Yes. So uh, why are you blaming this on him? You did it. No, I'm not blaming it on him. You I did it. I don't blame it on him. It Good. was both of us. No, no, it was you. It was both of us. No, Next it wasn't. Ago. It was you. Okay. It was me then. Yes, but. it was you, because you didn't have to have sex with a with a drug addict. You didn't have to have sex with an alcoholic. And you didn't have to have sex without birth control. It was you who did that. Yes, it was. Do you make my own... 
I mean, I mean, look, if you're going to be irresponsible, why not be irresponsible with a reasonable person? I, w- I wish I did. Well, but no, no. You, but the point is you had control over that. I, I know. So I- you did it. Take responsibility for what you did. I take full responsibility. No, you don't. You're trying to blame it on him. No, I'm not trying to. My, you were not. You were you raped? Blame on were you raped? Team. Were you raped? No. All right. So you did it. He is not responsible. You are responsible. He did get me pregnant on purpose after he cheated on me the night before. Uh, yeah, and, and he cheated on you, and then you had sex with him anyway. I didn't know he did at the time. Uh-huh. I didn't. Right, but he was a drug addict and an alcoholic, and, and most drug addicts are just liars. Yes. Uh-huh. And yes, you, I and, agree. And, and you probably knew that, but you went ahead anyway. Yeah, I was stupid. Right, what you darling? Uh, don't put that in the past yet. So I don't think you're that bright today. Uh, I'm learning. I don't even believe that yet because you're still trying to say it's his fault. He did it. He shares responsibility. No, uh, the, about the only sharing that goes on here is that legally he's responsible to pay you some child support, but that's about it. You did this. You put yourself in this position. So, what was your question, darling? My question is. Um he just has about eight hours a week with our son, and he told me today that he has this new girlfriend. Okay, well, I don't know anything about her. I don't uh, know what type of person she is. And Probably, frankly, another, probably, her... probably another drug addict. Probably. But th- my thing is I don't want her around my kid. No, just but, like he wouldn't well, want then, boy- it, if I had a boyfriend around You'll my have to kid. discuss that with an attorney then. I know, but... But I'm going to tell you that in Texas, I, from what I understand from my friends in Texas... Uh, 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 men uh, get a pretty good shake from the legal system in Texas compared to California or New York or other states. I just found that out recently in our uh, there go. custody battle. Well, so you, but you did it to yourself, darling. I hope you lo- you enjoy it. I hope you're having a good time over there. You did this. I know it. You did it to yourself. Well, the only thing I can say is that you got to learn from your mistakes. Uh, uh, darling, it's better not to make mistakes. Yeah, well, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone might make mistakes, but you made mistakes you can't take back. You know, if I make a mistake and I buy a car and it's a lemon, <laughs> I can always buy another car. But you, well, you made my- you made a mistake you can't undo. No, I can't undo. I wouldn't want to undo it without. If I undid yeah. it, I wouldn't have my son. <laughs> now you have to share him with the drug addict who uh, who spawned him. Until he eventually gets his new girlfriend pregnant and goes off on that little trade. Well, whatever. But, uh, you know, again, uh, there's a trailer park with your name on it, dear. I am not trailer park. Oh, please. Darling, you are attending which university now? I'm, I don't go to college. Sure you don't. I work full time to support my child. You have to. Well, that's my point. If you uh, didn't go get knocked up by a drug addict, uh, maybe you'd be in college. Maybe I would. Yeah, but uh, because you got knocked up by a drug addict, now you got to work. What do you do? You're a waitress? Well, no, I am not a waitress. What, what do you do for a living? I work a full-time job at a freighting company. At a, a what? At a, at, a, at, a, at a what company? A freighting company. A framing company? No, freighting, like... Freighting. Freight. A freight company. Yes. Uh-huh. You're a full-time what? Your customer service. So when someone's freight is missing... No, you I get take it to where call. it needs to go. I go through about four states to get it to where it needs to go. Four whole states. You must be a real expert. No. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I work hard at my job and you I have no job. Daughter, you have no choice. No, I don't. You have no choice. You tied a rope around your neck with a big stone attached to it. Do what? I think I've had enough, darling. Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, like is 101, I am your professor. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? All right. I just have both a question more than a statement. I want to know 
I need to... <laughs> If I'm just being a fool here, and I know you always think girls are fools, but my husband um, has been talking, was talking to three different girls. I caught him. First and foremost, I caught him on the computer looking you, at porn. You caught him. Well, let's start with this. Uh, men look at porn. That's the way it is. And I'm totally open to that. No, so you're not, because you just said you caught him looking at porn. Okay, well, let me explain, because I'm totally... I don't have an opposition to that at all. Then, what, then what, what do you mean you caught him? I fell asleep, and then I he didn't know I had woken up, and I came into where the computer room That's is. That's when we look at porn. We need to get laid. You're asleep. I know. That's fine. And I so what, what do you mean you caught him? Okay, so I walk into the computer room, and I'm standing there like five minutes. He doesn't know I'm there. And when he realizes I'm there, he clicks off on it really quick. And he, I'm like... Because he's afraid you're going to give him crap about it. And, of course... You wanted to give him crap about it because here you are saying you caught him. But I don't care if he looks at it. It was the secrety of it that he clicked it off and was like, "I'm not." Well, then you, well, here's what you should have said to him: If you really were cool and you really meant what you just said, you say, "I know you're looking at porn. It's no big deal. No need to hide, honey." I didn't say that, but anyway, that's you didn't say anything like that. Instead, you held that information, and you're probably using it against him. You're certainly using it against him for the purposes of this conversation by saying you caught him. Well, no, that was the least of the problem. So I was like, "What else are you doing that you're doing that, and you're so secretly doing this?" Ends up, I end up finding on the phone bill three different girls that he contacted. He says nothing happened, but I mean, there's like. Three weeks of calls with one girl. He's text messaging like 90 times, I kid you not, one day, saying, oh, I just needed someone to talk to. You weren't giving me that, and I didn't want and to hook you, up with someone. And, and you need to call a radio show to ask me what's going on? I, well, I want to believe him and say, okay, he was just trying to talk and nothing happened. And I did contact two of the girls, and they said... Oh, my God. Donning, <laughs> why, why do you demean yourself that way? I don't know. I'm probably an idiot. I don't know. Yes, you are. So you think he did? And what do you think? What do the girls say? Oh, no, nothing happening. You don't have to worry. So nice no. to meet you. He's told me so much about you. Not at all. He's like, he totally got my number. I thought it was weird. He texted me, and I was like, if you're trying to get in my pants, then you should just get over it. The other girl was like, I wasn't even, like, thinking of it that way. She's all, I didn't even, I talked to him, like, a day, and that was it. And the third girl won't contact me back, so I don't know what's her story. Right. But the point is, if you've had to go this far, why are you even? Why are you doing this? I don't know because I love him, but I maybe I <sighs> just cut my losses and leave. I mean, uh, we just got married. It's like I just find this out 15 days after we get wait married. Wait a minute! Now you didn't tell me you were married. It says here on the screen this is your boyfriend. No, well, when that happened, we was my boyfriend, but we got married. And why then, did you get married if this was going on? I didn't know it was going on. But if you got, was, when did you find out it was going on? Like probably three and a half. We got married like August fifteenth, and I found out everything probably like right around. Oh, I don't know, September tenth. Sounds to me like he didn't want to get married. I did. I really did. And no, he. I, yeah, listen to what I'm saying. Sounds to me like he did not want to get married. Why he shouldn't have got married then? I mean, I, I didn't make him. <laughs> Well, I agree, but uh, this is a good time to cut your losses. Now, are you telling me that during all the time you dated him, there were no red flags? I don't None. think so, no. No, he was always really affectionate. He's always faithful, different. never chatted with other women, never had a MySpace page, never had a Facebook page. He, no, he has one. We both have one, but I mean, I have <laughs> his number. He has mine. I see everything that's going on. I, I, we have access to each other's emails. Ooh. No, I totally was like. But you see, already, if you need a, if you need his password, you got problems. But he wanted mine, so I had. To, it's not like I needed to check up. I just. Yeah. Like, yes, it is, and you did. And well, and I yeah. So you got problems. It's a red flag, and you couldn't even see that it was a red flag. Well, do I just work it out now and get over it and hope mm -hmm. he's not cheating? And he said well, hope, he's gonna... you can't build these things on hope, darling. Well, what do I do? <laughs> Well, I'll put it this way. I wouldn't be married to somebody like that. I wouldn't be. I mean, I, if he wants to chat with other chicks, he should be free to do that. And if he doesn't have the balls to say, you know what, that's what I'd prefer to be doing, then you need to do it yourself, for yourself. Forget about what he's doing, why he does it, what his motives are. I mean, you want to live like that?
And by the way, if you need his passwords or you, he needs your passwords, you got problems to begin with. Yeah. I thought we had it good. I thought we were like the perfect couple. But You thought you were the perfect couple? <laughs> I thought... I mean, he, he was so affectionate and loving. I love you every night. And, I, I, and there was no, there wasn't like sex problems, nothing. Everything was perfect. Mm-hmm. And then you had to ruin it by getting married. I guess so. I guess. I don't, I mean, I know I'm a controlling person and that might have pushed him. And he yeah. says I need to talk to him. And being a controlling person will certainly force people to live a double life. Well, I know because I've done it myself. But I'm trying to be more open now. I mean, if I change my behavior and I'm more open and talk and communicate, maybe we can make it work. Darling, you've already got the problem. I know. And here's what you're probably going to do. You're probably going to sit there and live with it and hope that he didn't cheat on you. And you'll go two and a half, three, three and a half years. And then you're going to realize that it's not working. Yeah. I guess that could happen. Well, yeah, but the point is, that he says, I need all your passwords. Well, he wasn't saying that. I mean, it was just, we have each other's everything. Just Why? Not like... For- Do you know I never have the passwords of anyone I date, ever? Ever. I mean, we just live together. And- I don't... I- <laughs> I don't have their, uh, I don't have the passcodes to their cell phones. I don't have any of that stuff. If somebody wants to cheat, they're going to cheat. That's it. But if he's saying he didn't, do you think maybe he really didn't? And if they're saying he didn't? <laughs> Every, everybody who cheats says they didn't. I don't know. Yeah. I guess that could be true. What do you mean you guess? I mean, it probably is true, yeah. He's, I, but at this point, why wouldn't he just tell me? Well, because you're married and uh, there'll be consequences. But we already are, like, in hate war. It's like he, I mean, we're trying to go to therapy and work it out. It's, you're in therapy with him? And what is that like? Well, I mean, we're talking it out, you know. In therapy? Yeah. So that's where you found out that you were controlling. The doctor told you that. No, no, I know I am. I'm like obsessive. Like, who are you looking at? What are you doing? What are you looking at? I'm, I am. I'm really jealous like that. Well, you're the, exactly the wrong person to be getting married to anybody. I, I, I'd, I would drop kick you through the upright so fast you wouldn't know what hit you. I know. I, know, I wouldn't I tolerate know. your crap for one minute. You wouldn't have the password to anything I have. I know, and it's probably true. I mean, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't be that way, but... I guess that's my interest. Getting married is the wrong thing for people like you. I know, huh? Yes. And <laughs> we got married. We got pushed into it because we were getting a house, and in order to get this loan, we had to be married. And so that's why we got married. You got married to get a loan. Now the truth comes out. We didn't want to get married. I wasn't ready. We were going to do it on Christmas Eve. That was the original plan. So we were planning it, but we just got pushed much faster. <sighs> you you got married because you're one of these people who has to have like ownership of a person. You have to have them as your property. That that's what it's all about, right? You have this idea somehow that uh, you can be like uh, you know bring home security or something that you can lock somebody down. No, I have all the money. It's not. I'm not talking know. about money. I'm talking about like locking them down. But I didn't want to lock him down. I don't. I don't even want that relationship. I just you married him for Christ's sake. What for? What did you get married for? I guess in that case, I mean, for that purpose, we got married. But I did love him when I was marrying him. I I love him. You love him, but it's that sick kind of love where you have to know what he's doing, who he's talking to, who he's chatting with. You're calling women that turned up on his phone bill. So I just. Kind of That's not love, dear. That's obsession. That is sick, perverted ownership. That is what that is. Yeah, he does it too. I don't care. So a a lot of you sick, perverted people end up hooking up. (laughs) So do you think there's any hope for us? I mean, is there any hope? Is there hope for you? Well, you're going to the therapist. I guess the therapist is the person to ask because I'm not in that room with you. Me, if I were with somebody like you, I'd run for the hills. 
Okay. Well, I would. I'd, I'd, no way I would ever have somebody who's checking up on my whereabouts. I'm, I'd be out. Yeah, I, I, that's true. It's not a good feeling. If you've ever made a surprise visit to him at work, oh, honey, I just wanted to surprise you, or anywhere else, when in reality you just wanted to see if he was where he told you he was, it's I've it, never done that. Mm -mm. not yet. I, no, I've yeah. never even... no, Not yet. <laughs> I yeah. Well, that's I'm trying to change those behaviors and hoping we can. That's so. exactly who you are, darling. Yeah, I guess then. I guess I just have to get blown up then, huh? <laughs> uh, well, uh, but hang on before I let you go, Liz. What did you want to say to Jen? Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great. Um. Let me pull over here. I'm breaking the law for this because this girl is, she's completely nuts. I got to tell you, I've been with the same guy for over 12 years. He's never had my passwords to anything in my computer, anything on my cell phone. I've never had any of his, the issue, it's, it's never even come up. I would never even ask him for that. Um, you, you really need to like I don't are you a religious person is that why you want to continue to be married is that the issue no I totally love him I'm so in love with him okay like, you, I, I don't you, even... you're not in love you're obsessed you you I can tell like in your voice you have you're a controlling person you've admitted that but you have like an obsession towards this guy it's not this stuff is killing me just to think about it the Tom Likas Show.